Did you know Nepal's urban population growth in 2011 was 17% and in 2021 it was 66.2%. 49.2% increase in just the span of 10 years. Well, this proves that Nepal is one of the fastest urbanizing countries. But with unplanned urbanization and inappropriate building designs come various new challenges, like the need for more energy, especially for heating and cooling buildings. This not only contributes to a large carbon footprint, but also leads to higher energy expenses. Traditional building materials like solid-fired bricks contribute to higher emission of carbon dioxide which leads to rising temperatures. Brick industries in Nepal are one of the most coal-consuming industries. They emit about 1.3 million tons of carbon dioxide every year. Namaste, hello everyone, this is Ronish Mashrashta and today I will be showcasing you a project that has been attempting to solve all these problems through energy-efficient building constructions. I'm here at Lalitpur's Gwarko and from the outside, this building might look like any other normal building or any other normal house, but from the inside, it has been smartly using energy efficient methods. I must tell you, it is very, very interesting. daily life useful So let's go inside and let's see what's there. One of the main features of this building is that it is built with hollow or perforated bricks. Using these kinds of bricks as an alternative walling material has been able to save 3.36 tons of carbon dioxide emissions and to reduce structural weight by 26 tons, lowering the risk of earthquake damage in this house. Since we have a double base wall, it is incoming. The building has been designed considering the size and positioning of windows for letting the light and air in the building as required. The design of the building also makes proper use of daylight. Especially something that I found, the team found very smart is that you have a rooftop magic. Is a glass open the glass will say hurry floor as a gate so that the sunlight goes into the ground floor. Now come with me to the roof. Here on the roof, you can see that there are solar panels for heating water and solar photovoltaic panels for electricity. There is also a rainwater harvesting system, a grey water treatment system, and the design of the entire building supports groundwater recharge allowing rainwater to percolate in the ground and recharge the water table. So who owns this building and how come it is so green and sustainable? Financially, it's also mango cost efficient. Only cost efficient pony on I just like some lights in a bucket of a new hollow brick of your size map on each low sign and the size map to bit ticker about. त्यो लगाउने मसलाहरु भन्छु नि हैन त्यो सिमेन्टहरु पनि कम लाग्ने भयो अनि कामदारको टाइम पनि कम लाग्दा चाहिँ अब वन डे मा अलि धेरै काम गर्न सकियो नि त त्यो गर्दा चाहिँ अलिकति एफिसिएन्ट नै हुन आयो जस्तो लाग्छ मलाई चाहिँ As human beings, we're super curious. There are so many random questions that comes in our mind. Did the chicken come first or the egg? But there are also very important questions that we never think about. Like, how is a brick made? Have you ever thought of that? Neither have I. But today, we are going to showcase how one brick is made, how many bricks can be made in a day, and is traditional bricks good or hollow bricks? We'll tell you all about this in this video. A key component of the building we just saw are the hollow bricks. These bricks are cost competitive and consume much less energy to produce than traditional solid bricks. You pal no beko, you pal beko. Ab yeh uta ma sare 200 gram dekhi, 300 gram yeh halka huni bitti gayi. Ab yeh uta ghar ma 50,000 inta the use huni bitti gayi. Kati gram kya ton ka ton fark paisi. To bekar ma ana bache ek tin kyu load sahi bhagau niwa kar lay. Just kani the halo bhesha. 25% si koila tayi isma tayi kam khandore. 
अनि अब 24% भनेपछि त तपाईहरुले दिनमा यति धेरै इटाहरु पोल्दाखेरि पोल्दाखेरि त एनवायरनमेन्टको लागि त धेरै राम्रो धेरै नै राम्रो इन एडिसन टु अदर एनर्जी एफिसिएन्सी मेजर्स दिस बिल्डिंग्स आर अल युजिंग होलो ब्रिक्स इन देयर कन्स्ट्रक्शन वन्स कम्प्लिट देयर विल बी 72 एनर्जी एफिसिएन्ट बिल्डिंग्स हियर Right now, six houses have been plastered and the frame structure construction of another six has started. Let's talk to someone who can tell us more about these buildings. Amro, thak to tu ese like carry down garu, ei garu bani udeshe mati. Amle or initial cost breakdown garu, or long term cost ke. To ise amle initial one time invest le garu, amle long time se kati profit hune, sab da kati margin line. Even amro ultimately isko dead end users bani kada client customers arne ho. Wahan lai shuru ko saano small investment le se long term naturally le na sakne amle benefit se kati udar bani amle isko isab gar da kerse. To je massive dekhe ke. So I'm standing here at the Changunara municipality because the Bean project is not just about individuals. They are working with 60 partner municipalities to develop policy bylaws to integrate energy efficiency measures in building. 14 municipalities have already incorporated provisions for energy efficiency into their bylaws or SOP. Changunara Nagar Palika Kari Palika le energy efficiency बिल्डिंग को कार्यविधि हमें चाहे पास करें कार्यान्वयन करने दिशा में लगे इसलिए विद्युतीय डिमाण घटना आवश्यक तेगरी अब आप जीवनशैली आप बसोबास आरामदायी बनाने का लगी वातावरण हिसाब से उपयुक्त रो अज स्वास्थ्य दृष्टिकोण ने भी अत्यंत प्राकृतिक रहे कारण इनर्जी इफिशिएसी बिल्डिंग अत्यंत महत्वपूर्ण र नगरपालिक आगामी दिन में अब का दिन में यह मापदंड को भवन निर्माण करना का लगी हम अगड़ी बढ़ी रह The Bean project supports municipalities like Changunara and municipality to formulate energy efficient policies but it also developed design manual for architects and engineers that serves as a comprehensive resource for designing energy efficient buildings manuals on hollow brick production for brick factories and construction companies and insulation manuals for proper heating and cooling the objective is to provide support at all levels to tackle energy efficiency all the way from spreading awareness at the community level to incorporating green designs into local government building standards buildings like these are going to be critical for cities all over nepal which are already suffering from numerous issues like air pollution water pollution water shortages and extreme heat investing in innovative green solutions like proper building design proper insulation and use of hollow brick are not just energy efficient but also help save costs in the long run for building owners and for nepal we have four pillars like important four pillars mm -hmm. uh, the first pillar is capacity building of the value chain actors like that's the uh, capacity building of micro small and medium enterprises these are the private actors who yeah. are uh, pivotal mm -hmm. in uh, making the designing and constructing mm -hmm. the energy efficient buildings so we are building their capacities mm -hmm. and uh, not only building their capacities but we are uh, working in marketing and awareness of mm -hmm. uh, on the energy efficient building oh, techniques wow. uh, to expand the market mm -hmm. share of these services mm -hmm. so that's the second pillar uh, marketing and awareness yeah. the third pillar is working with the commercial uh, institution financial institutions to avail preferential mm -hmm. financial instruments for people who wants to build energy efficient buildings so yes. that's the third pillar and the fourth and most important pillar is working with the local governments and the federal governments yeah. to put the uh, favorable policy mm -hmm. uh, provisions uh, which are based of course on the evidences that we generate from the four bioclimatic zones of nepal so uh, uh, the fourth component is evidence based policy yeah. support for the local government and the third. next time if you or your family or your friends are considering about building a home then do keep in mind according to the bioclimatic zones according to resource efficient measures and energy efficient way
So all of these can be incorporated during the design phase itself and you can have a very comfortable home without ACs or heaters. I'm Ronishma and thank you so much for sharing this journey with me.